morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Kevin McCaskill, the proud principal here at the Brockton High, uh, Brockton High School, and welcome to today's senior award ceremony. These are truly the times that are very enjoyable for all of us when we start we recognize excellence. And some of this excellence has been with us for four years now. I know I've only been here for five months, but these folks have really done an outstanding job over the course of their high school careers, and today we celebrate their excellence. So without further ado, we'll start the program off. And I think the first award, oh, the principal's award, the first award. And it goes out to a gentleman, one of the first gentlemen that I've met here at Brockton High School. And he's part of, he's part of the Brockton High School wake up crew. And every morning, every morning you hear his voice as well as three of his compatriots about having a great welcome and start of the day. And I couldn't think of anyone more deserving to this award because he also sits on the Brockton, High, the Brockton Public School School Committee. And without further ado, the Principal's Award Leadership Award goes to senior Anthony Viega. Oh, we, oh, now you should have told me that at the beginning. Because you know, Mr. McCaskill goes off script every opportunity that he gets. So, without further ado. Right there on top. Right there on top. Eric. All right. That's Anthony. So Anthony. Anthony, it reads, Certificate of a Special Recognition. This certifies that Anthony Viega is awarded this Certificate of a Special Recognition for Principal's Leadership Award given at Brockton High School, May 29th of 2024, signed by Principal Kevin McCaskill. Here you are, Anthony. And next to the podium, I'd like to introduce Ms. Jean Foley for the Math Department Award. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I probably don't need this either, but I will use it. Um, I want to congratulate all of the seniors and your families that are here. Um, it's been a pleasure to watch them all come in as freshmen. And here they are today, ready to take on the world. So congratulations to you all. We have two awards this morning um, to celebrate excellence in mathematics. So if Tashnia Abedin is here. Doesn't look like she's here, but I'd like to read um, what her teachers had to say about her. Um, Tashnia, your past and present math teachers congratulate you on your outstanding math achievement. Tashnia's pre-calculus teacher, Ms. Balboni, shared these words about her. Tashnia was a dedicated math student. She always took her time to thoroughly understand each concept. Meticulous in her approach, she never rushed through problems. Her commitment to accuracy and comprehension set her apart, demonstrating her passion for mastering mathematics. She is the type of student who was persistent, didn't give up, and always was willing to help her classmates. This year, Tashnia was enrolled in Ms. Kim's AP Calculus class. Here are Ms. Kim's words. Tashnia is brilliant, respectful, and innovative. I'm amazed by how her brain functions when she is critically thinking through abstract problems. She integrates, that's a little calculus pun there, folks, well with others, often lending a hand when others need help, along with excelling in all of her classes with high honor roll every term. I am certain that we're going to see Tashnia in the STEM section of the newspapers in the near futures. So I would like to congratulate Tashnia and wish her the best of luck in her future endeavors. <laughs> and 
And then our second recipient is Jason Wood. <laughs> Want to come up? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Okay, his is right there. No, you can, you can stand with me. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Hi. Hi. Um, Jason, um, just like Tashnia, your past and present math teachers congratulate you on your outstanding achievement in math. In speaking to your teachers, I noticed common themes. Your dedication and hard work were consistent. Your willingness to help your classmates understand the concepts was a daily part of your routine. One of your teachers commented that when you arrived to class, you were always ready and eager to work, asking questions to help in your own understanding, which also helped the entire class grasp concepts. Your work was thorough and thoughtful. Your sophomore math teacher, Mrs. Bezra, retired earlier this year. When asked about your time in the classroom, she had a tear a little, because you know Mrs. Bezra. <laughs> she replied that Jason is the kind of student that every teacher wishes for and I was fortunate enough to have in class. It's students like Jason that made my time in the classroom so meaningful and enjoyable. Mrs. Haddad was Jason's IB math teacher for the last two years and she echoed the same theme as Mrs. Bezra. When asked about a recipient about the BHS Math Award, she responded with your name instantaneously. Her final message to you is that you are destined to great things. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Congratulations, Jason, and best of luck in your future endeavors. I would like to call up to the podium next is Dr. Richard Warby, Science Department Award. I think one of the things we can definitely say is I do not need this microphone. Um, good afternoon or good morning, everybody. It's afternoon in South Africa. I'm on the wrong time, clearly. Um, welcome to the Senior Awards. Um, seriously, this is an event for families, friends, staff, faculty, everybody. It takes a community to get our students to this point. And a huge congratulations to everybody. It gives me a great pleasure to present the Department's Excellence in Science Award to Elizabeth Okoye, Samantha Harkins, and Ella Silverman. So you can please come join me up here. That would be fantastic. So in addition to outstanding academic achievements in science, and let's not deny it, everywhere else as well, these young women are model students. Their numerous accolades are too many to list here, but include involvement in NHS, BSU, and playing on the boys' golf team. However, the thing that I'd like to highlight is the fact that these students understand that fundamentals are paramount in all pursuits in life. As Randy Pausch once said, if you don't understand the fundamentals, the fancy stuff doesn't work. Also, these students are intrinsically motivated. They're not motivated by things outside, they are motivated inside, and this is something that all of us educators aspire to instill in our students. Um, of these students, I spoke to Ms. Gerodia and Dr. Jackson Grigsby, and they said, these students are the most dedicated and hardworking students they have ever encountered. Echoing this, Dr. Jackson Grosby said, these students are exceptional in science throughout their high school career here at BHS and set the bar high for themselves and for their classmates. So congratulations to you all. Um, and from me to you, may the best day of your past be the worst day of your future. Here for 
Hi, I'm Jamie Vitonis. I'm the ELA director. Um, so I have the uh, pleasure of awarding the prestigious Rosemary Corey Academic Excellence in English Awards um, to Carmen Rios and Samantha Harkins. Again, could you come up? So let's start with uh, Carmen. Carmen Rios has demonstrated remarkable growth as an English student in her time at Brockton High School. According to her current English teacher, she is everything you'd want in an English student, skilled, hardworking, and insightful. Though often quiet and reserved, Carmen is also confident and comfortable speaking in front of the class. Her artistic talents have translated well in the English classroom, giving her a natural ability to write with a nuanced feel for the use of vocabulary, a strong understanding of sentence structure, and a perceptive appreciation for the deeper levels of meaning in literature. Carmen has taken multiple English electives in which she has earned outstanding marks. And moreover, she has excelled in several upper level English courses, including our advanced placement English literature and composition. Our next English award recipient is Samantha Harkins. According to her English teacher, it happens to be the same one, Samantha Harkins is an exceptional student and a kind and caring young woman She's demonstrated tremendous diligence and motivation to succeed in her English courses during all four years at BHS. Despite her busy schedule and personal preference for the sciences, she's on a pre-med track, Samantha has earned an A or A plus in every English honors course all four years of high school. Her strengths include an innate self-motivation and genuine love of learning. Although getting good grades is important to Samantha, she sees education's true pur purpose, which is to grow and learn. She has always been a strong writer, but this year especially has seen her grow in her ability to express herself both verbally and in written form. This growth is the result of her taking feedback and suggestions on writing and seeing it as an opportunity to try something new with her style. In addition to her academic strengths, Sam walks into class daily with a smile on her face and a kind greeting. She is friends with everyone and has emerged as a true leader among her peers. Her groups enjoyed working with her because they knew she was fair, reliable, intelligent, and responsible. So congratulations to both Carmen and Samantha. And I also have, yep, from the English department, you can probably guess what it is. <laughs> now I'd like to present our social science department awards, Ms. Stacy Medina. This is such a uh, this is such a great day when we get to celebrate our most hardworking students and uh, in the different departments. So, in the history department, we had 16 nominations. So that speaks volumes to what the hard work our students are doing. Um, we narrowed it down to one, Miss Priscilla Barbosa Gomes. You want to come up and join us? That's all her issues. I'm going to give you these to hold. So um, it's a challenge uh, every year, as I said, because we have so many hardworking students. But um, we were able to, after many hours of conversations and arguing, we narrowed it down to Miss Arsenault's wonderful student here. And um, she truly embodies what we were looking for in our um, Excellence Award. So some words from Miss Harrington. I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't read or see. Um, so Priscilla is always a consistent and reliable student in her history class. She challenges herself, she contributes on a regular basis, and she truly embodies the IB learner traits, which are so important in rigorous coursework. She's open-minded, she's a risk taker, she considers multiple perspectives, um, she's thoughtful and a careful investigator, and she consistently 
she, oh, she consistently exhibits these traits. Um, each two-year cycle in the IB history course, students are tasked with uh, investigating um, some original research. She chose her, as her topic uh, to what extent did the American opinion around Vietnam, the Vietnam War, shift after the Mai Lai Massacre. And she was tasked with considering historiography as well as sources and coming to her own conclusions. And sometimes in IB history, you can research a whole bunch of stuff and then be left without answers, but she stuck with it. It's a 20, 30 hour project, and it takes a lot of due diligence, effort, and uh, commitment. So uh, for those reasons, we have awarded you the History Excellence Award. And um, oh, and also, Ms. Um, Arsenal wanted me to mention that you really stepped out of your your comfort zone by joining the choir this year. So she thought that was a tremendous feat. So congratulations. <laughs> I think you have a specific. I think this is it. Oh, very good. Without any further ado, let's introduce Ms. Umbriana for the Foreign Language Department, Classical Language. Good morning, everyone. I would like to call Samantha Harkins, um, Caden Sulevich, and Liliana Renault back up to the podium, please. Each year, the Classical and Modern Language Department recognizes students for academic excellence, and I wanted to make sure we represented all three of our offered languages. I'll start with Sam Harkins, who studies Latin, is being recognized for her academic excellence. She's been active in the Classical and Modern Language Honor Society, running many of our events in the community. Ms. Antonellis writes about Sam, in the four years here at Brockton High School, Samantha Harkins has not only been a high-achieving student, a generous classmate, but also the first to volunteer to help out when the need arose. Samantha has always been there for her friends and teachers alike. Her tireless work for Honor Society fundraisers and the exhibit we hosted at the Brockton Public Library in February were largely successful because of Sam's efforts. Teaching is one of the toughest careers, but when you are lucky enough to have a student like Samantha, you know it is the best career. We wish her much luck as she pursues her dream job in medicine. Congratulations, Samantha, we will miss you. And Caden couldn't make it, but I'm going to say a few words. Caden, who studies Mandarin Chinese, is being recognized for their academic excellence. Miss Lee writes about Caden. They have a passion of the Chinese language and culture. Between activities in class, Caden would often be found practicing vocabulary, leading to consistently outstanding performance on Chinese reading and writing activities. Caden was accepted early admission to Middlebury College, which is known for its language programs, where they will study art education. So congratulations to Caden. And last but not least, Liliana Renault, who studies Spanish, is being recognized for her academic excellence as well. Ms. Ribello writes about Liliana. Liliana has been a great representation of what an outstanding student is, and her fellow classmates look, to, look up to her for that. Whether she has a written assignment for IB Spanish class or a piece for her English Lit class, Liliana is serious-minded, dependable, and determined to always do outstanding work. She possesses a great Great leadership skills that will make her an unbelievable asset to the UMass Amherst community. She's bound to do great things. Congratulations, Liliana. And we are so proud of our award recipients. On behalf of the Classical and Modern Language Department, I'm honored to present these awards for academic excellence in Latin, Mandarin, Chinese, and Spanish. Congratulations.
And next up, we have the Bilingual Department Awards with Ms. Nori Harris. Good morning, everyone. I have to change my glasses. Uh, so our department would like to celebrate two, three phenomenal students, Annie Limontes, <laughs> Kesmira Vasquez, and Christian Gomes de Pina. Andy Limontes was born in Haiti, arrived in the U.S. last June, and started school in September. She was placed in TBE program, means Transitional Bilingual Education, with English proficiency level one, according to Parent Information Center. After being assessed at Brockton High School, she was then placed in the ISCI program, means in the mainstream program, but requested to have biology with Mr. Ambani. By the end of first term, she was fully integrated with one block of ESL taught by Ms. Sarah Terrell. She took the access test, and here are her scores. Composite 4.1, she was a little bit short in order to exit the program, she needed 4.2, and literacy 4.3. According to her teachers, she's an exceptional student with a quiet determination, a gentle spirit, and a kind heart that desires to give back. Annie is usually the first one in the classroom <clears throat> in the morning and gets to work right away. She does everything with excellency and is well respected by her friends and classmates. Do you need some water? Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Terrell has enjoyed getting a glimpse into her life and feels privileged to have known her for even a short amount of time. Annie would like to study computer science in college, but I know that she will accomplish whatever she sets her mind to. His Mary Vasquez was a top student in ELD4. She had excellent attendance and received the High Honor Roll Award in class, earning 97% average during the second semester. Kish Mary is an excellent writer who often chose to write about various challenges that she faced while living in Brockton. She's a very kind and caring young lady who has a, a big heart for friends and family. She plans to go to college after graduating from Brockton High School. Her first language is Spanish and her bilingual skills will serve her well as she moves forward from life at BHS. Christiane Gomes de Pina was born in Cape Verde, arrived in U.S. last in April, and attended Edison Summer School and enrolled at Brockton High School in September 2023. She was assessed at Parent Information Center, and her initial English proficiency level was two. She was placed in SEI program, took the access score, and here are her scores. Composite 4.3 and literacy 4.5, that means she exited the bilingual program. She's a fell student. Christian was a hardworking student, extremely serious, motivated, and goal oriented. She will achieve her goals, for she believes that a dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. Congratulations.
Oh, I always forget that. Next is Melissa Shepard for Guidance Council. Good morning. Today I'm presenting the Richard Pyries Award from the Guidance Department. Richard Pyries um, was a a school counselor here at Brockton High for many years, and this award is dedicated to him, and it recognizes a student who has overcome challenges on their way to excellence. So today, I'm nominating uh, Michaela Martins from the Yellow House. Is Michaela here? No, okay. I'll just read a few words about Michaela. So Michaela was nominated by her counselor. Um, she came to Brockton High as a freshman and earned all A's in her classes and worked with her counselor for the following year to take AP and honors classes, where she did very well in those classes. But she uh, had a bump in the road junior year, and um, her academics had to take a little bit of a back seat. Um, and so her counselor nominated her for this award because she has rebounded grade 12, and she's back um, working at her full potential, uh, making great grades, and um, working very hard in her classes. Um, she was accepted to Suffolk University and is going to be studying interior, interior design. And additionally, her counselor wanted everyone to know that she is incredibly kind, outgoing, and responsible. And she has been a pleasure to work with for four years here at Brockton High. So, recognize Michaela. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> My name's uh, Colonel Walt Connery, and I'm the Senior Army Instructor for uh, JRTC. This morning, I uh, have the opportunity to actually give away uh, two different uh, awards, uh, one for leadership and one for service. Uh, we're going to start with the Captain Anthony Palermo Leadership Award, which is given to uh, Isadora Tebod. Please come up. We, we call her Izzy. Um, Izzy came to JRTC uh, as a junior last year and sh uh, soon showed her leadership skills to us quite quickly. She was a member of the cross country team, so I talked to Coach uh, Fidalgo a little bit about, she told me about her and uh, said she was a true team player. She started honing and shopping her skills there. After she joined us last year, she quickly assimilated into our program and proved that she had all the qualities of a great leader. She made her rank fast. She was promoted to the rank of captain, which is very unusual in one year, and became a company commander. She ensures she leads from the front by volunteering her time on whatever is needed. She was always there to inspire the cadets around her. She motivates these young people to get the very best out of them. Izzy's taking her leadership skills to the next level as she's shipping off in a few weeks to basic training with the U.S. Army. Well, she'll get to show off her leadership skills and attributes there and make Brockton High School proud. So it is my distinct pleasure to award this Certificate of Academic Excellence for the Captain Anthony Palermo Leadership Award to Izzy Tebald. <laughs> The next award is um, the Corporal Donald E. Fisher, the second JRTC Service Award. Jacob Simmons, please come. <laughs> this award uh, 
was quite easy. Um, we have a lot of great kids, but uh, nobody gives service like Jacob Simmons. Um, not only is Jacob uh, a JRTC cadet, he's also about to become an Eagle Scout. And for you that don't know it, only no more than 4% of all Scouts can attain this rank. So that alone is a huge accomplishment. As a JROTC cadet and a Boy Scout of America Scout, the expectation is in the spirit of caring and giving service to other people and organizations. Jacob has exemplified this role and has become a better citizen for it. He's shown a significant impact with the service to multiple organizations, with not only the community of Brockton, but also the community of Randolph. He always presents his best. Jacob is moving on to LSU, where maybe he might join ROTC and become a commission officer. We would like to think so. But without further ado, it's my distinct pleasure to award the Certificate of Academic Excellence for the Corporal Donald E. Fisher Service Award to Jacob Simmons. Thank you. I'll be followed by the Music Department Award presented by Ms. Rebecca Desmond. Good morning. To present the Tony Manakis Band Award, I'd like to have Mr. Cardell, um, our Advanced Concert Band Director, come down. Thank you very much and congratulations, seniors. The uh, Anthony Manakis Band Award is bestowed upon an exceptional graduating senior band member who exemplifies uh, unparalleled growth and dedication to our band program. Named, for, and named in honor of Anthony Manakis, um, a passionate music advocate for musical excellence, this award recognizes individuals who have ex exhibited remarkable improve improvement, unwavering commitment, and outstanding musical promise. I'm delighted to present the Anthony Manikis Band Award to Hasiel Sushite. A uh, talented trumpet player in our band and a student that I've actually uh, have had that pleasure of having uh, as, a, as a teacher since he was a sixth grader at the Pliff School. Um, Hasiel is left an indelible mark on our junior, junior and senior jazz ensembles, our concert bands, our wind ensembles, marching band, and this year also as one of the leading characters in our, in our musical. <laughs> Where's the wig? Where's the wig? I don't know. Oh. Um, Haciel has not only met but exceeded our standards, uh, for musical standards set forth by our instrumental music department. But beyond his technical proficiency, Hatziel's journey has been a testament, testament to the transformative powers of music education. His commitment to growth both as a musician and as an individual serves as an inspiration to his peers and his edu educators alike. As a recipient of the Anthony Manikis Band Award, Hatziel embodies the spirit of musical excellence and serves as a shining inspiration and pr profound impact of dedication, loyalty, and character and discipline within our band program. And I congratulate Hatziel on his future and his next, next endeavors. Thank you. And next is Mr. Cunningham and the Tony Manekes Choral Award. Thank you. Good morning. It is my pleasure to introduce our recipient of the 2024 Tony Manekes Choral Award, Ms. Herbeline Tropness.
In the choral program, Herbeline has truly done it all. She was a member of the Rep Chorus for one year, Concert Choir for three years, Bracabellas for two years, Chamber Singers for two years, and Harmonics for two years. She was selected to the Southeast Massachusetts Senior District Festival Chorus three of her four years and was chosen for the Mass Allstate Chorus this year. Also this year, Herbeline was accepted into the 2024 American Choral Directors Association Eastern Region Honor Choir in Providence, Rhode Island. Herbeline has sung numerous solos at concerts and community events and participated in all four spring musicals, most recently starring as Holly in The Wedding Singer. But what is far more impressive than her list of accomplishments is her outstanding character. Herbeline is humble, kind, and leads by example. She is well respected by students and staff and reciprocates this respect toward all. It has been a joy to watch her inspire her fellow singers in her role as the alto section leader in the choir. On numerous occasions, I've even relied upon her to fill in in my absence to direct the choir. She has innate musical instincts, a great ear, and a charismatic personality, all necessary qualities to successfully lead a choir. She lights up the stage whenever she is performing, but off stage she can also light up a room with her dynamic energy and exuberant passion for music. We're going to miss her, Beline, but she'll be attending Morgan State University in the fall, studying nursing, and they are so lucky to be getting her. Please help me congratulate this year's Tony Monekas Choral Award recipient, Herbeline Tropness. And now Sarah Richards with the Art Award. Good morning. Um, it's my pleasure to present the Pasquale Morano Art Award to Joshua Tunis. Joshua is not with us today, but I'm going to tell you about what a wonderful student and young man Joshua is. He's an outstanding artist and an outstanding young man. Um, he's excelled in every art class he's taken here at BHS, including illustration, drawing and painting, and digital art at all levels. This year in AP Art, he created an extensive body of illustrated work that visually communicates emotion and movement through the figure. He has pushed the bound, his boundaries to develop his skill and his concepts. Miss D. Simone describes him as the most focused student she's ever taught. In his four years at BHS, Joshua has had his work exhibited and celebrated throughout the city. This year alone, he has had his work exhibited at the State House. He won second place in the Brockton Public Library Art Smart Contest, and he won first place in illustration for his body of work in the Harbor One Art Show. He has also been selected to exhibit a piece of work in the Fuller Craft Museum this summer as part of the Brockton Youth Create Show. That's a great show. You all should go see it. It'll be up in July at the Fuller Craft Museum. Um, I could go on with accolades about Joshua, but these are not Joshua's most admirable qualities. Joshua exemplifies the quote, if you can be anything in this world, be kind. Joshua is generous and thoughtful in everything he does. He's supportive of his classmates and always willing to provide positive feedback with a smile. He is thankful and appreciative of all opportunities and accolades that come his way. He, is, he genuinely cares about and authentically interacts with the people and the world that's happening around him. In the fall, he will be off to UMass Dartmouth to continue to pursue his visual arts studies, and I'm very proud to award Joshua Tunis the Pasquale Morano Art Award. And now I'd like to welcome up Mr. Todd Erickson. Hi. Uh, so the accelerated programs here at Brockton High have uh, many spectacular students, as you might uh, guess, uh, participating. And they're all on their own journeys to realizing and witnessing their potential as learners and contributors to a better world. Uh, the following two students, however, both of whom have spent their entire grade school careers in Brockton Public Schools, were chosen because their attitude, energy, and spirit 
consistently revealed a degree of courage in that journey that has been honest and inspiring. So first, we have our Advanced Placement Student Award going to Mora Barada. Uh, and a few words about Mora. Uh, Mrs. Smith has said, during her time at Brockton High School, Mora has completed eight rigorous advanced placement courses and exams. One on our own, by the way. In 2023, College Board recognized Mora as an AP scholar. Her accomplishments in these AP courses are made even more impressive when we consider Mora's ability to balance her academic responsibilities with the numerous other commitments in her life. She is prolific in her endeavors outside of school, including volunteer work, engineering programs, and activities through local colleges and companies. We are all so proud of Moore and look forward to seeing her future successes. Dr. Khan has said, Moore has always shown grace and maturity in the class throughout the year, no matter what the circumstances were. She has consistently demonstrated a positive attitude, resiliency, and strength of character. And Ms. Kim said, Mora is determined to have success in learning by struggling through problems, I agree. Collaborating with others and maintaining her perseverance throughout the process. I am proud to have had Mora in class. Uh, Bravo. And uh, for our International Baccalaureate Diploma Program a Student Award, we have a, a full IB diploma student, Matteo Rasher. <laughs> a few words about Matteo. Mr. Brophy said about Matteo that Matteo has been an absolute pleasure to have in class for the last two years. From his insanely weird stories, to his valuable contributions in class, Matteo has brought an unmatched energy to his class. Mr. Leinart wrote, Matteo was consistently open to ideas, constructive criticism, and peer feedback during the entire IB visual art class. This openness ensured growth and a successful completion of a theme or idea for the senior show. Ms. Haddad wrote, congratulations on your graduation, Matt. Your hard work and dedication in math have truly paid off. It was a pleasure having you in class. And Mrs. Baker wrote, one great aspect about Matt that I will always remember is how he cares so deeply about others and giving back to the community. I'm so very proud of him and all he has accomplished, and we all are. Now I'll uh, ask uh, Dr. Elvio Ferreira to come up for vocational and career education. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. I'm very happy to uh, continue to offer congratulations to all the recipients, but on behalf of the Career and Technical Education Department, I am honored to present two awards this morning to deserving seniors. Uh, the first goes to Mackay Saunders. Is Mackay here? No? OK, a few words uh, from his instructors. Uh, Mackay has the highest average uh, in the grade 12 graphics program. He is always uh, diligent in his work. He has de um, developed his skills over the past three years and this year's graduation cover is his original design. Uh, after graduation, he expects to continue his work in the graphic fields. So on behalf of the department, we celebrate and honor Mackay this morning. <clears throat> the
The second student is Maya Davicic. <laughs> Maya is a health assisting student uh, who has worked diligently over the last three years to earn her CNA designation as a junior, which is one year se uh, sooner than, than the plan. She has served as a teacher aide this year to help her classmates prepare for the CNA designation. She's volunteered countless hours of her own time to serve uh, as an assistant at clinical sites to ensure her peers were preparing uh, for the mandated skills that are required for this certification. And uh, after graduation moving forward, she attends uh, UMass Boston in September to major in nursing. So we are honored to have those two students serve as the CTE Senior Award recipients. Thank you. Instructors want to come down and take a picture too? We have family support as well. <laughs> are, we, are we okay here? Uh, calling back to the podium, Ms. Foley from the math department. Hi again, everyone. I hear that Tashnia is here. Come on up. You need to have your moment. So it was a preview of what I gave you before, but I'd love Tashnia to hear it firsthand, what everyone said about her. So Tashnia, your past and present math teachers congratulate you on your outstanding achievement in math. Your pre-calculus teacher, Ms. Balboni, shared these words about you. Tashnia was a dedicated math student. She always took her time to thoroughly understand each concept. Meticulous in her approach, she never rushed through problems. Her commitment to accuracy and comprehension set her apart, demonstrating her passion for mastering mathematics. She is the type of student who was persistent, didn't give up, and always was willing to help her classmates. Your AP Calculus teacher, Ms. Kim, shared these words. Tashnia is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Respectful and innovative. I'm amazed by how her brain functions when she is critically thinking through abstract problems. She integrates, you get the math pun? <laughs> Often lending a hand when others need help, along with excelling in all of her classes with high honor roll every term. I am certain that we're going to see Tashnia in the STEM section of the newspapers in the near future. So congratulations, Tashnia, and best luck in your future endeavors and you are a math award recipient. One more huge round of applause for our recipients today. We are truly, truly proud of all your accomplishments. Uh, I'd like also to note, make note, we have school committee members here this, this morning. Over to my left, Mr. Tim Sullivan of the Brockton Public School School Committee. And, and hidden in the back, we have Vice Chair Tony Rodriguez of the Brockton Public School School Committee. Gentlemen, thank you for participating in this program. Truly appreciate it. I'd also like to thank at this time parents and family members. You have been a driving, driving force 
of the success of these young people. Can we have a massive round of applause for our parents, <laughs> caregivers, and family members? Job well done, folks. We thank you. And if we can have the Brockton High School staff, please stand. Now, don't get on. You're not shy during the day. <laughs> we are truly, truly appreciative of your efforts in propelling these young people forward. Your tireless work, your care, concern, and compassion for not only their well-being, but their achievement levels goes, goes beyond measure. We truly appreciate all you do for our young people. Round of applause, please, for them. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sure that we're waiting for this joyous event called graduation on Saturday. I look forward to seeing everyone at 9 a.m. sharp, 9 a.m. sharp, and for a third time, 9 a.m. sharp, so we all be in our places. But families, friends, uh, staff members, and most importantly, students, always remember going out into this world, young people. People care about you, and you are truly loved. Keep making a difference in this world. We need you. God bless you folks, and thank you for coming out. Thank you.